Well, news here at local election headquarters, Rhode Island Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea has announced her run for Rhode Island governor in 2022. Yeah, that's right. 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi breaking this story last night. Alexander Leslie joins us live outside of the State House. Alex Gorbea, the first Democrat to formally announce plans to challenge Governor McKee. Yes, and she's also the first Latina in New England to run a gubernatorial race, making her candidacy historic for the state and the region as well. Now, some background on the newest candidate for governor. Gorbea is a 53-year-old North Kingstown resident, and though she was an underdog in the 2014 primary for Secretary of State, Gorbea wound up winning with 51% of the vote, and that fall, she became the first Hispanic person elected to statewide office in New England. She won re-election easily back in 2018. Agorbea released videos in English and in Spanish announcing her campaign last night and she said after working as Rhode Island Secretary of State for the last six and a half years, she's now vying for the state's top job. To build a better Rhode Island, to make government more accountable to the people, to bring diverse voices to the table and connect people to hopeful opportunities that will help them thrive. So with her announcement, she becomes the first elected Democrat to announce a, that she is challenging Governor Dan McKee. I'll break down a list of other expected potential candidates coming up in our next half hour. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. 12 News, your local election headquarters, Rhode Island Secretary of State Nellie Gorbea announcing plans to throw her hat into the race to be the Ocean State's next governor. Yeah, Gorbea, the first elected Democrat to formally announce plans to challenge Governor Dan McKee. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie is joining us. And, you know, this primary cycle is starting considerably earlier than the last open race for Governor Alex. Right, and this is truly the first time that the office has really been open in the last eight years since Governor McKee inherited the office from then Governor Raimondo just back in March. Now, during the 2014 cycle, then Providence Mayor Angel Tavares uh, did not launch his campaign until October 2013, and Raimondo didn't follow until that December. So Gorbea is really kicking things off early here. And Gorbea said as governor, she'd continue to make government more accountable, challenge special interests in the status quo, and connects people to opportunities that will help them thrive. So as we mentioned, Gorbea is the first elected Democrat to formally announce plans to challenge Governor McKee. And she is one of several candidates expected to throw her hat into the race. So some other elected Democrats you'll recognize include General Treasurer Seth Magaziner and Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza, Dr. Luis Daniel Munoz, who ran as an independent back in 2018, has already announced his candidacy as a Democrat. So far, though, no Republican has announced plans to run. Now, before her gig as Secretary of State, Gorbea founded the Rhode Island Latino Civic Fund, and she served on several community boards. She also served as Executive Director for Housing Works RI. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.